What's going on everybody? It's me Brandon back again with another video. Today we are doing a review of my first month and about a week with the Valve Steam Deck. This was something I got literally the first day of the new year and since then I've been taking my time with it, trying out all these different games, trying out how this works, dipping my feet into emulation and so much more. This thing has been my daily driver for portable gaming. I have not touched my Switch really at all since I've gotten this device and it is quite something. So I have a video today talking about my first month and change with the Steam Deck. And I'm very excited to talk about this. I'm very excited to finally have this video done. I've been working on it, writing out a script, trying to get proper footage for it over the last month. And I'm so happy to have this video ready for you all. So let me know in the comments down below if you have a, a Valve Steam Deck, if you are interested in one, and let's get into the video. It has been about a month since I first received my Steam Deck in the mail, and it's been quite an exciting month with it. I was immediately impressed when the Steam Deck was introduced in August of 2021. Valve made a handheld console with the option to also be docked, and if you're a Steam user, all of those games you had are immediately available on the Steam Deck. How could I say no? The Nintendo Switch has become one of my favorite systems because I can play on the go and at home. Now that Valve is doing it, this could be a huge game changer. After about a month, I'm ready to talk about my first month with the Steam Deck. Let's get into the video. I'm starting with the design of the Steam Deck. I was surprised immediately by how comfortable it was in my hands. The Steam Deck was something I would see in reaction videos and unboxings. The system just looked massive. Upon opening it, I was pleasantly surprised by its comfort and ergonomics. It's still a big portable system, but its size feels excellent. The system has the D-pad, face buttons, and control sticks all on the top part of the system, with two touchpads below for desktop mode or some other games. There are traditional bumpers and trigger buttons with four additional back buttons on the console as well that can be assigned. Again, all of this feels great and works perfectly on the system. The UI of the Steam Deck is perfect for a handheld device. As I said earlier, immediately booting up the device and signing in, I had my entire Steam library in the palm of my hands, ready to be played on the go, and I was so excited. However, there is a catch with the Steam Deck. Sure, you have all your games, but not everything is readily available or works out the gate. Valve made a key for each game on Steam, letting you know if it's good on deck, playable, or not compatible. I've had a few hiccups with some games, but most worked like a charm. I have played some of the more demanding games and perfect games for the system, like classic 2D games and some older games from the 7th generation, and these worked wonderfully. The best part of gaming with my Steam Deck is playing games I wouldn't normally play on my PC. Being able to play some 2D platformers and some other genres of games just felt better on the Steam Deck. For instance, a game like Moving Out I've been playing with my girlfriend and it is fantastic. On the subject of playing different games on the Steam Deck, I took my first steps into diving into emulation and I'm amazed with how well Steam Deck works as an emulation machine. Using Emu Deck and Emulation Station has made my uncertainty of emulation a complete 180. Emulation is impressive and playing some of my favorite games on one system is fantastic. I've been sampling all of my favorite consoles and trying more and more games and I just keep getting impressed. Playing PlayStation 1, GameCube, PS2, Genesis, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance and so on. It is crazy to me that you can do this and it's possible and I'm able to bring my entire collection of some of my favorite systems onto the Steam Deck and it works so well. Playing some PlayStation 1 titles has gotten me so nostalgic over the last couple weeks and I absolutely adore this feature with the Steam Deck. Like I said, this is mostly a new thing for me. I've never used emulation in the past really, so trying to dip my feet completely with a portable system and it working so well, it really blows me away. I haven't been able to test out Wii U emulation or 3DS, but it's fully capable of doing so, which is crazy to me about how versatile this device is with emulation. 
One Sunday morning, I played the first two hours or so of Silent Hill 2 and was just floored with how well it ran. Moments like this blow me away with how the Steam Deck is so fascinating and such a cool and unique device. With all the talk about the Steam Deck's positive features, we must consider this device's downsides. Battery life on the deck varies between games. Having gone through many games over the last month, the deck's battery life weighs greatly depending on what games you are playing. If you're playing graphically intensive games like Final Fantasy VII Remake or Elden Ring, sometimes the game can drain the battery and your system will die within two hours. It can be so ridiculous sometimes to where I am amazed. But usually, for me at least, my playtime on handheld is usually around two hours anyway before I have to dock it or do something else. But if you're playing a 2D platformer or something a little bit older, the battery can last up to five to eight hours depending. Another thing, I was somewhat disappointed in the way games were compatible or not. Trying a bunch of different games like the War for Cybertron Transformers games, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare Classic, and a handful of other games I've tried, sometimes they would work, and then some other times they would just not be playable. But since this device is a new system, I'm more lenient since it does the unthinkable. Another issue I find bothersome is the docking experience. Initially, I was disappointed with what it was. It wasn't until when I started using emulation, smaller games, and older titles that changed my opinion on the docking experience. Initially trying out graphically intensive games like Tekken 7, Soul Calibur 6, Elden Ring, and other titles, I realized the dock did not upscale like the Nintendo Switch, and that was an unfortunate discovery. There have been some other issues I've had with the Steam Deck where I would play a three-player co-op game and we would have some hiccups along the way like syncing controller issues and the menu being buggy. Uh, however, aside from a handful of these smaller issues, the Steam Deck still impresses me whenever I pick it up. Finally, getting my hands on a Steam Deck and spending the last month with this device has been a pleasure. Revisiting some classics to see how they run and being able to take the main games I'm playing on the go is incredible, albeit at the battery's expense. This system has blown my mind and opened the door to emulation, allowing me to take some of my retro libraries on the go. It is something I can't wrap my head around. Emulation is maddening, and I still can't believe that I haven't tried this out before. The Steam Deck can be a great rival to the Switch, but also be on its own. With the capability to be docked and played on the go, it is amazing to have something run third-party games better than the Nintendo Switch and have my achievements come with me. I adore this concept of a portable system that can be docked or taken on the go and have them perform well most of the time, if not all of the time. There have been times with my Nintendo Switch when I would try to play a simple third-party game like a Lego game and it took a major hit somewhere in graphics, performance, or whatever. But mostly the Steam Deck does it with ease and I get excited every time I get to spend more time with my Steam Deck. And that's it for this episode today. I really hope you enjoyed it. The Valve Steam Deck is something that I've always dreamt of. And it's funny to say that twice in essentially the same generation. When the Nintendo Switch came out, I said that very phrase. And it blows my mind that we're getting devices like this that deliver so much. And this is especially perfect in value, especially if you're a PC gamer. You get your entire library on this device. And there are some caveats. Like I said, some games don't play. Some are required. You may need to get a workaround. But the fact that my entire Steam library just gets ported to this device is phenomenal. And the option for emulation is there as well if you do want to dabble. I found it incredible. I'm finding it still impressive. There's some games that I have in my library that I'm slowly transferring over to get onto the deck just so I can go ahead and play them portably. Being able to play my PS2, Game Boy Advance, etc. on one system is insane and I love this and I wish I got into emulation earlier but now this is the perfect time to get into emulation because of this device and also it being able to be docked is something else entirely as well that it just adds to this value and adds to this awesome system so please let me know in the comments down below what you think about this video like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy any of this content I worked 
pretty hard on this video, just trying to get some different camera angles and such. And I know I don't often ask about that, but uh, this was a really fun video to make and it's exciting because it's something so new and different. So as always, my name is Brandon and I will see you all next time.